Hi Cancer, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do a general psychic tarot reading for you for the month of June 2017. I'm going to look at work, home, love, money, and unexpected for you. So I've already shuffled and cut the cards from various decks, so let's get started. Okay, Cancer for work. I have the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. It feels like you are nervous because you're not sure if you're going to get a new job or a promotion to another department at the corporation or company that you work for. But it looks like the person in charge of hiring or the boss is going to pick you and make an offer to you that's going to make you very happy because it's going to be more money than what you thought was being offered for that position. So I see some very good news coming to you at your place of business, at your work, at your job. I see some very good news coming to you straight from the boss involving more money. But I see that at first you're going to be worried or focusing on negative focusing on. Uh, I'm probably not going to get it. <laughs> but uh, try to focus on the positive, okay? Because it looks like a lot of you are going to get really good news, a really good offer. Okay, Cancer 4, home. I have the Six of Wands, the Page of Cups, and Justice. It feels, first of all, that if you are with someone, living with someone, partner with someone, married to someone, um, there's going to be an argument in the home. But you're going to win the argument. You're going to win the argument. And someone, whoever you're, you've argued with later, is going to make a pact with you, an offer to you that's going to make you very happy. And for some of you, the person's going to say that they're glad that your decision was chosen over theirs because they realize now that that was the best decision. And it feels like for some of you, it has to do with spending a large amount of money on something for the house or for the, on the property for something on the property. For some of you, I felt that, that argument first for others of you, as far as home, it feels like you're going to get some kind of happy news or recognition for something that you did to beautify the neighborhood. It feels like I'm talking to a single person now more than a married or partnered person. You did something in the neighborhood. Normally you don't really talk to your neighbors or you're kind of quiet, but you did something for the neighborhood because you saw some community notice that went out. And you're going to make some new friends and you're going to have a lot of people coming to you now because of this thing that you did to beautify the neighborhood or the community or the community park. Okay, so look forward to that. For love, Cancer, I have the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Five of Swords. This feels just like the home that I felt at first about the argument. You're going to be arguing with someone, weighing the pros and cons about why you should buy a certain thing for the property. And at first, the person that you're arguing with doesn't trust it. They're looking more at the financial part. I'm going to tell you right now, they're looking more at the financial part. You're seeing the overall picture. You're seeing the... Uh, you're focusing on the quality and on how long this thing is going to last for the price. That other person's focusing just on the, the cost. Okay. Um, but anyway, they're going to come around to, they're going to come around and say, you know what? You were right. I'm sorry. Here, take, take you out. I'm going to take you out to dinner. Okay. Now let me get some more messages from these cards because this is for love. Okay. For some of you, um, you know, you know that the person that you're seeing, dating, um, they're planning something for you. It involves getting a gift for you. And 
you're not going to let them know that you know. You just know. You're going to have to act really surprised about it. It may it may involve a piece of jewelry that the person's getting for you. It could be like a monogrammed or customized jewelry or some kind of like birthstone, gemstone or something. Some of you are going to find the receipt somewhere. So you're going to know that they're, they're, they bought this for you. Others of you, you're just going to intuitively know that they're hiding something, but that it's something good that they're hiding. And it's actually a gift for you. And for some of you, it's jewelry, like I said. Um, but you're just going to have to pretend like you don't know. <laughs> you're going to have to pretend like it's a total surprise when they give this thing to you. Okay, Cancer, for money, I have the sun, which is really awesome. The Knight of Pentacles, which is really awesome because it feels like someone's bringing you some money. And the Lover's card. Uh, the Lover's feels a little separate from the first two. So it feels like someone's bringing you, for some of you, they're offering you a business opportunity and you're going to join this business opportunity. You have the funds to spend on the opportunity and you have the funds to spend every month to continue promoting it and you're going to go ahead and take advantage because you've been wanting to start a home-based business and for a lot of you that's what this is for others of you someone's offering you some kind of goods uh some kind of uh money and they're offering it to you and it looks like they want you to provide some services for them for this money and you're very happy because you have been wanting to make some extra money and there's something you know how to do so you're gonna you're gonna take on this client and you're happy and you're looking forward to getting more clients whatever this um, service is that you're doing for the lover's card this is i pull these cards for money so let me see what messages i get from the lover's card for you okay for some reason i'm focusing on this blue object here on the card and on the grapes just a moment please okay what i'm seeing first of all is that if you're a male you're going to get a big bouquet of flowers for your girlfriend and it costs money it's like 80 dollars or more but you're going to spend the money on this person because you really like them and you want to impress them and they're going to be totally blown away by you (laughs) they're going to be blown away because this is only your like third date and uh, y'all are going to go somewhere really special and so when you're going to go pick this person up you're taking this big beautiful bouquet to this person feels like you're a male bringing it to a female for others of you there's something about this blue there's something about this blue that i'm being drawn to but i can't tell what it what it is but it's a very beautiful shade of blue it almost it reminds me of like blue suede material so maybe some of you are going to be spending some money on something that's blue or something that's made out of blue suede it looks sort of like a shoe so maybe maybe you're buying some blue shoes and they're very beautiful because I'm seeing the object, but I can't tell what the object is, but it looks sort of like a high heel shoe. (laughs) So maybe you're going to spend some money on some high heel shoes and I'm hearing $85 on a pair of shoes. Okay. All right. So, okay, Cancer. So for unexpected, I have the nine of swords, the king of coins and the king of swords. The nine of swords to me feels like you're going to fall on your knees on a sidewalk or in someone's manicured lawn. So please be careful that you don't trip on anything. Watch where you're going, especially in June, because um, if it feels like if you do fall on your knees, it's going to cause some kind of problem in your back. Okay. So please be careful with that because, um, yeah, just be careful. Be careful with that. The other message I'm getting from this card is that some of you are going to be at a playground that has, um, I guess they're called monkey bars. And you're getting a cautionary message again. Something happening at the monkey bars at this playground. Children running around. So please be careful. Be careful with that. 
That's separate from these other two cards for unexpected for you, Cancer. So let me listen to the messages that I get from the King of Coins and the King of Swords. King of Coins feels like a young, handsome man that is going to be attracted to you and is going to be flirting with you big time, big time. You might be older than this handsome male. It feels like this person has a nice car that they care a lot about and they have a nice, nice paying job also but they're interested in dating you so this person feels like they're going to come up on you in june it feels like i'm talking to a female and this male could be around 30 years old okay you could be around 40 years old now for the king of swords card um this feels like somebody that is coming to you with some kind of proposition i can't tell if it's business or relationship let me listen to the messages please okay first of all it feels like i'm talking to a male it feels like this is you in this card and you are hopeful that somebody forgives you you're going to confess something to someone it, it could be someone that you broke up with recently you're going to come and confess to them something and you're going to ask them to forgive you that's the first feeling and message i'm getting from this card for unexpected for you cancer for june 2017 some of you are not happy with your chest muscles it feels like one is hanging lower than the other and that's really bothering you and so you're going to look into cosmetic surgery it feels like i'm talking to a male you're going to look into cosmetic surgery for getting your chest muscles uh more balanced some of you are going to find out that your child, teenager, is smoking pot in the house. And you are going to ask for advice from someone or several people on what to tell your son or daughter. It feels more like it's a son. How to stop or to, to please stop smoking in the house and to please stop smoking pot, period. But that's what I'm seeing here in this card. You're going to seek advice because you're, you're in shock and I can't tell if you ever smoked it before, but you don't know what to do as far as parenting is concerned when it comes to this matter. So you're going to seek some advice from someone on how to talk to your teenager to get them to stop smoking pot. Okay, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope it helps you. I look forward to seeing you in July. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Petra at indigotarot.club.